Hi everyone. Um, it is a perfect summer day here today and we are getting ready to head to the racetrack to watch the horses run. Um, but before we did, I just wanted to address something that has happened to me on numerous occasions and um, the last time it was pretty frustrating so I decided to mention it. Um, a lot of times when we're out, I'll have people come up to me and um, ask if they can ask me questions about um, me being on O2. And um, sometimes it's about the concentrator that I use and, you know, how we got it and different things like that. Um, sometimes it can just be questions about why I am on air. And um, sometimes it's other people who are also on air. Um, and sometimes the people are really nice about everything, and sometimes they're just quite rude and unthinking in what they say, which brings me to, um, this video. Um, the other day we were out at the store, and a guy, an older gentleman, I'll say, stopped me and asked me if he could ask me a couple questions, and I said, sure, no problem, and he said he first stated that he is on oxygen only at night though um, because he's not ready to die yet um, but if it does get to that point where he's on oxygen all day and about to die then um, he was curious to know what kind of concentrator I was using to be out and about and um, yeah, I was pretty offended by this. Uh, just the way he worded the question and his, I'm um, not about to die, but be insinuating that because I'm on O2 all the time that I am about to die. Um, just the whole thing. And it's not the first time that um, people have shown such ignorance. I've had other people ask me what was wrong and then um, it if I tell them, you know, about the pH or the COPD or whatever, they'll say, oh yeah, I had a friend that had that and they just died, or I knew someone that had that and they just died, and, you know, I don't know. Um, I've never really met anybody that had something that the next thing that I tell them is I knew of other people with their condition that um, had died, and they may have... You know, I may have known, but I don't know that I would tell the person in that moment that I'm meeting that, um, you know, I don't know. It's just, it strikes me as odd, but I'm here to say that I'm not dead yet, and I'm not about to die, and I'm not even close. And I guess I think about it as um, kind of needing O2 is kind of the same thing as a person with diabetes who's body isn't regulating their in insulin anymore, um, so they need added insulin, but we don't always see it. I mean, sometimes they might, I guess, have to wear a pump, but you don't necessarily see it, so you don't know. Um, with the O2, it's the same thing. Our body isn't regulating the oxygen um, properly and getting what it needs from it, so it needs some help. The only difference is that um, everybody sees it all the time. So I think that it is um, looked at a little bit differently than like diabetes or some of the other illnesses. So um, I just wanted to say that um, if you're approaching other people to talk to them about um, their diseases or disabilities or, you know, whatever, um, Hopefully you would put more thought into it than this gentleman who approached me and the others that have approached me in the past. Um, and if you're tolerating people like this, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt and um, move on and keep going and doing what you're doing. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I might be on O2 all the time, but I'm more active and doing more than a lot of people that I know that aren't on O2 at all. So, um, just keep doing what you're doing and move forward, feel good about yourself, and, um, you know, just here to say, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Alright, thanks.